Hey everyone, this is going to be a demo of a game called Oh Shit. I did demonstrate this a while ago, but it was in a live stream format and it got broken up into parts because I had issues with live streaming and I thought I should redo it. Um, essentially what this is, it's a survival type of game. Um, if for for those of you that have that have played Crazy Party, there's a mini game I think called the Crystal Rain or something like that, where you're dodging um, things as they as they um, as they come out of the sky, and they um, they will fall, and you have to grab them. Um, this kind of expands that concept and takes it to a whole new level. Um, essentially what you're doing in this one is there are, I guess there are, uh, rocks that will fall out of the sky and they will fall on the ground. If they hit you, you, uh, die. When they do land, y you can grab items. Um, there are also pits and chasms that will appear. And basically the idea is to try to, try to, keep going as long as you can until you die. Um, there are lots and lots of uh, achievements that y you can earn. And uh, there's also a game mode that you can unlock that's called The Runner, which I'll hopefully be able to demonstrate to you. Let me go ahead oh, and oh, launch the game here. Oshit.exe. And I have reset all of my stats. That way you can see what this is like when you first um, install it. So when you do install it, you just have to unzip the archive that you download and you should be good to go. The game window. Welcome. Survive as long as possible with the falling rocks, randomly appearing chasms, and shooting cannons that slowly multiply. Thankfully you can get power up items that cover pits, give invincibility and destroy cannons, and speed you up. If you get pit covers, step on the edge of a pit and press F to use one, and press C to say how many you have. Oh shit. Created by Stevo. And that basically explains how the game works, so I'm going to hit enter. Main menu. Play. And we have a menu, so if you just uh, up and down now. View statistics. You can view your stats. Clear local score statistics. Clear all statistics. View the main scoreboard. View the runner's scoreboard. These let you view the scoreboards. Learn game sounds. Achievements. Options. Exit. Options and then exit. O achievements. Achievements will show you your list of achievements that you earned, except, well, I don't have any right now. Learn game sounds. Let's go into learn game sounds. Learn game sounds. Use the arrow keys to browse the sound names. Press enter to play the sound. Press escape to leave this menu. Falling rock. So rock. Falling rock. Sound decreases in pitch. So that's a rock sound. Rock lands. Item. Bonus item. You pick up regular item or pit cover bonus item. Cannon. Warning that cannon is about to fire. Cannon fires. Cannon ball falls into pit. De can cannon ball falls into pit. Decreases in pitch. Yeah. You deflect a cannon ball. Cannonball or cannon gets destroyed. Pit spawns. Pit. That's a pit. Pit is covered. You step. You step on the edge of a pit. You hit the wall. You fall in a pit. You get hit by a cannonball. You get hit by a falling rock. Power up has spawned. Power up has spawned. So this does use a lot of the same sounds from Crazy Party, but whatever. Main menu. Play. View statistics. <clears throat> so let's clear go into local, options. Clear all. View. View. Learned. Achieve. Options. Options. Internet scoreboards. Show how many scores. Top 10. Press left and right arrows to increment or decrement. If this number is greater than the total number of scores on the board, all scores on the board will be shown. Right. You can view the online scoreboards, and this lets you choose how many you want to view. Enable logging games to file. If you hit enter here. Enabled. Disabled. Enabled. So you can hit enter or the space bar. Or, well, I guess just enter on this one. Disabled. Enabled. Disabled. Enabled. Turn that on. Enter. Disable logging games to file. Logging options. 
Choose what you want to log. Use the arrow keys to browse options, space to toggle, and enter or escape to save the settings. Status checked. Power up checked. Cannon checked. Collection checked. Positional checked. Spawning checked. Spawning checked. Options. Internet scoreboard. Disable logging games to so file. So that lets you choose what you want to log. Logging options. Customize post game options checked. Adjust pan step currently set to 30. Pan step. This is, I believe this is for people that have um, impaired hearing. So you can adjust um, the pan levels and things like that. So if you can't hear things as well on your right side or your left side, you can change that here. Adjust pan step currently set to 30. Adjust pan step currently set to 30. 31. And you can hit the left and right keys to 30. change it. 29. 30. Customize post game options checked. Um, these are options that will that control what happens after the game ends. Copy scores to the clipboard unchecked. Attempt to post scores online unchecked. Start a new game checked. Notify local score position unchecked. Notify scoreboard status or position unchecked. Notify scoreboard status or position unchecked. So I've turned all of these things off except for the option to start a, a new game, which I, I find handy because when you die, all you have to do is hit enter and it will immediately begin a new game. Options. Internet scoreboard. So that's about it for here. Main menu. Play. View statistics. Play. Let's go ahead and go into play. And here we go. So. Paused. I'm going to pause the game with P just to go over a few of the keystrokes that you'll need to know. Left and right make you move. Up arrow or the space bar makes you jump. P will pause and unpause the game. I believe S will tell you your score. T will tell you the time that you have lived, basically. Um, F will use a pit cover, and C will check how many you have. Oops, sorry. I want to say that's about it. This game is very easy to play, um, very addictive, as you will see. So let's go ahead and try this. Basically, what I will be doing is walking left and right, dodging cannonballs and grabbing items. So here we go. Resumed. Er, rocks and cannonballs. 15 seconds. 20 seconds. Should be getting pits here in just a second. Maybe. Yep. Seconds. Oh. Jump. Now. Paused. The thing I don't like about this is the bonus items are announced using um, pre recorded text to speech clips, and they are very, 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 very fast. Um, not a fan of that, but I basically got a speed bonus there. Resumed. And bonus items don't last very long, so you gotta be quick. For enjoying this game so much, no. I mean, standing right in front of a cannon and letting yourself be blasted upside the head. What? Did you think you were some kind of superhuman who could survive that? Dumbass. You have been honorably <laughs> rewarded with the having a blast. Badge. Here, have this badge and let it serve as a reminder to use your brain before you lose your brain. <laughs> Someone hit enter. Guess what? For starting out pretty good with a score of 40 points. Not bad for a first game dot. You have been honorably rewarded with a good first game badge. Keep working on your skills though.
Game over. You lasted 1 minute and 38 seconds and collected a total of 34 items. Your final score was 40 points. Now you enter and we're back playing again. Um, there are... Game over. Oh. You lasted 5 seconds. That's not good. There are a bunch of achievements. I don't know how many. say if I survive for more than two or three minutes, I get access to the runner, but I don't know. Whoa, that was close. So to jump over those uh, chasms, you want to um, you walk onto the edge of them, uh, press the up arrow, and hold the right arrow. That's basically how you jump. Resume. One minute and two seconds. For dying because you ran after a power-up and didn't pay attention dot you have been honorably rewarded with a greedy asshole karma badge power-ups last for six seconds remember pay attention and don't kill yourself getting one god game over you lasted one minute and three seconds let's try this again that was close Yes, this this game is aptly named because uh, you will be saying "oh shit" quite a lot. Eleven seconds. So these items will time out. So you want to grab them pretty quick. Oh, there's a cannon. Twenty points. Fifty-eight. Fifty. One minute. covers. One minute and fifty eight. Guess what? Oh. For collecting just 45.78% of all items that fell in the first two and a half minutes, you have been honorably rewarded with a lazy ass badge. Yeah, you're getting rewarded for being a lazy ass. This is your reminder to not just stand there and let the items go by. Game over. All right, uh, that's my phone going off, sorry about that. So, I'm gonna try to... <coughs> for lasting long enough to get a point or two, but not for much else, you have been honorably rewarded with the fucked game badge. As some would say, this game is fucked. Game over. 
Christ, okay. So I'm gonna try to unlock the runner, but I'm not gonna play this for too much longer because I think you get the idea. But it is extremely addictive. And just having fun, no. I mean, standing there and catching yourself a cannonball. To the face, you have been honorably rewarded with the having a ball. Badge. Was the good time worth it? Did you really need that extra ball, so much that you were willing to die for it? I mean not judging or anything. Guess what? For managing to jump right to a cannonball. You're supposed to jump over those, just saying dot. You have been honorably <laughs> rewarded with the jump in the gun. Or not. Badge. Here, have a badge for your excellent jumping skills. Game over. You- Let's do... One more here. See how far I can get. Con congratulations. For jumping 100 cannonballs after the minigame was released, you will now get the chance to unlock it. Continue playing, and let's hope you can figure out what triggers it. Game over. You lasted 14 seconds. So actually, now it tells me that I can unlock the minigame. Be able to unlock the mini game. I think you have to last a certain period of time, though. Twenty-nine seconds. Whoa, that was. No, of course not. seconds. Yes, I destroyed the cannon. So, to destroy Paused. a cannon, you have to be 
invincible and you have to stand in front of it and let it hit you with a cannonball because when it hits you it goes backwards and hits the cannon resume two two minutes and 25 okay so almost the two to three minute mark question is can i make it Guess what? Oh. For running wild and free, straight into a hole super speed comes with super responsibility. You have been honorably rewarded with a reckless running badge. Looks like you discovered the hole in happiness, the downfall of up speed, the consequence of carelessness. Okay, I'm done. Have fun sitting in that pit, though. Game over. You lasted 2 minutes and 45. I almost made it. Um, I'm gonna hit escape. If you were just gonna abort, why do you start playing in the first place? Now I don't even get the satisfaction of kicking your remains into a pit while I'm cleaning up the damn field. <laughs> and then hit enter. Guess what? For mashing that escape key like a professional quitter with gold medals and losing, failing, and being a bum, you have been honorably rewarded with the sore loser badge. Next time, just stand next to a cannon for half a minute. That's a good way to quit. Main menu. View statistics. Clear local score statistics. Now, I can look at my stats. Let's do that. View game statistics. Press escape to exit this menu. Local top 10. View summaries. Summaries. Press escape when done, Let's and press enter to copy one to the this. clipboard and also exit this menu. Statistical report for game one. This game lasted one minute and 38. Statistical report for game two. This game. So this shows you all of your games. I'm going to hit end. Statistical report for game 10. This game lasted two minutes and 45 seconds, and you managed a score of 86. In the end, your downfall was failing to watch where you were going. During this time, a total of 137 rocks fell, of which you successfully retrieved 64, or roughly 47.0% of them. In addition, 5 power-ups spawned, of which you grabbed 5, or roughly 100.0% of them. Of those you grabbed, 2 of these were super speeds, 1 of these was an invincibility, and 2 of these were pit covers. This resulted in 25 seconds of super speed, and 15 seconds of invincibility. Of the 137 rocks that fell, you just barely avoided 5, or around 4.0% of those, a total of four cannons spawned, and you managed to destroy one or 25.0% of them. Altogether, these cannons managed to fire 36 balls, nine or 25.0% of which you encountered and successfully jumped. And finally, five pits spawned, and you successfully covered two or 40.0% of those. Finally, in terms of movement, you took a total of 771 steps, which is well above average. So there you go, and you can copy that. Game statistics. Press escape. Statistical report for game. And that's on my clipboard. Main menu. Views. So that's basically how the game works now. Exit. Oh shit window. Items. There is a cheat a cheated version, which I will briefly demonstrate. Um, and this one actually has the runner unlocked by default, but the, this one lets you type in things to get items. So for instance, you could get a, a, a bunch of pit covers, or you could you, you could make a bunch of cannons and it's it's really up to you um i'm going to go download that so i'm going to pause the recording but primarily i want to show you how this other game mode works so audacity i will be right back all right let's go ahead and run this oh shit oh shit window items view list oh shit dot txt and um from what i can tell this is identical to the regular game except that the runner is unlocked by default and you have a cheatlist.txt a cheat list file but i think i'll let you explore those on your own oh shit.txt welcome survive as long as possible with the main menu play runner view statistics game statistics you have played a total of zero games main menu yeah so these these two versions have their own um they have their own information so you can't you can't share your stats back and forth well actually you might be able to um because what it does i believe by default there is a there's a file that it creates in the main folder which i believe is called scores.dat i believe that contains all of your progress information so you could probably copy that in here runner um but we what i want to show you is the runner mode so i'm gonna hit enter welcome to Ushit. you have to outrun the tracking pit and hope that the stuff you're running at doesn't kill you 
Make it to the end of each level and you'll get an even harder level to follow. Right, so essentially that's what you're doing. And I, uh, again, I, I believe to unlock this in the regular mode, you have to play for more than th three minutes after it gives you the alert, after you jump over um, 100 cannonballs. So uh, let's go ahead and play this one. Level one. Level one. And, and and hit enter again. Jump over that. There's a cannon after me. I'm jumping when the pit comes close. So I'm holding down the right arrow and tapping the up arrow to jump. That was close. Jump over the cannonball. Congratulations, Oop. you made it to level 1, and got a score of 1047 points. The game lasted 1 minute and 55 seconds. Congratulations. View, runner. Play. Well, that's disappointing. Let's try that one more time. Runner, welcome to Ush level 1, level- Because I do want to at least get to the next level. That cannonball is behind me, but I can move- I, I can move quickly enough that it's not really a problem. The problem mainly are the pits in front of you and cannonballs in front of you. Seven seconds. That was close. seconds. Level two. So it tells you that. I'm gonna hit enter. Oh, and now we're getting. Now we're getting rocks. Now 
it gets harder. Two minutes and two minutes and twenty two seconds. Now, I believe this is endless. So you keep going until you die. Congratulations. You made it to level two and got a score of 1,465 points. The game lasted two minutes and 35 seconds. Congratulations. View statistics. Clear look. Clear all. Learn game. Achievements. Options. Exit. So there you go. That's the runner. Oh shit window. Um, so. Audacity. That is the game. You know, it's, it's, it's different. It's not just a hack and slash. Uh, so I think it's pretty cool. And it's, it, it is absolutely free. So <gasps> hope you've enjoyed it. <clears throat> As always, if you have any questions or comments, leave those and I will be sure to get back to you. So that's going to do it for me for this recording. You guys take care.